now that you finished it, give us uh, a walk around. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna follow you and let you tell us. Well, it's not finished, but it's running. How much you got in it right now? I'm thinking around seventeen hundred. Seventeen hundred bucks. Yeah. Dang. Are you gonna leave the rust down here? I'm thinking about doing something like that. I hope you do, because, you know, to be honest with you, that rusty spot right there, and I noticed on the other side up under the door there, you got some rust. It just looks good to me. Of course, you know how I am. I like rusty stuff anyway, but it, it gives it that rat rod flavor, you know. That front end on there looks awesome. Uh, I haven't seen it under its own power. I've just been in it, you know. You want me to drive it around the yard a little bit so you can watch it? Uh, no, I'll, I'll watch it on the video. Okay. Right now it's a little tricky, as you noticed when I came in the driveway. Yeah. I got my foot laying on the frame rail. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to go slow back and forth to the brake, and sometimes I hit the gas when I'm supposed to be hitting the brake. And when I came in the driveway, I got be really, it's really tricky. Yeah. Right now, because there ain't very no floorboard in it. So. I remember when I first drove mine, I didn't have any floor in it, and me and Trish were out riding around. Here's our. Uh, I saw your shifter. <laughs> That's, we that's couldn't a, figure a way to, so we could back it out, so we right. fired in neutral, and we got just enough to get to the drive. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, how's, really it, shift how's it feel to be out driving it a little bit? Good. Did your seat bolt it down? No. So you just, you know, that's the way I did mine. I stuck a couple boat seats over in mine. I didn't have any floor, and oh, it sure was good to ride around in that out there at first. Feels a little bit wavy on the front side. I'm, I'm thinking it needs a kick pin on that side. Mm -hmm. I think a kick pin is a little sloppy on the side. Yeah. Uh, in the beginning. Yeah. Now that I took it up the road and let it beat around a little bit, now it's just grease. Yeah. Okay. But otherwise it. And then I notice when you put your brakes on, of course it stops it so well that. It makes the spring bounce back and forth a little bit, so you'll see this move a little bit. Right. But I don't feel no bump steer or anything. When I hit a bump, it's fine. Yeah. And uh, it does go through the gear, so I was worried about the transmission. Right. I only paid 200 bucks for a tranny, and the guy said it was a new tranny. It feels like it, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's just my, I got three electrons on it, so. I figured I'd tighten it up so it wouldn't fall off while you're messing around with it. But. It's got plenty of that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Power. Yeah. What we had before was we had just, we couldn't get the back brakes to work. Uh -huh. we, we ended up doing that some last night and some this morning. Right. But anyway, the front brakes were taken, so you'd go down the road and you hit the front brakes. Yeah. And she'd just keep right on plowing. Yeah. I don't think this thing would power break because I think it just push it. Right. But I don't need to power break it. <laughs> <laughs> no.